Good morning. Baby Bumblebee is two weeks old as of yesterday. Here's little Till Tills. Hello, my girl. <laughs> uh, I've just had a shower. I did the night shift last night. And look at the baby. She's so much more like up on her feet. Look at her go. Bumblebee. I think she's making noises now. She wasn't making noises. Bumblebee. So here she is. Look at them eyes. Can you see? She has eyes. Hello, my girl. They are really open this morning. Hello. Look at them. They're so clever. Here's baby Bumblebee. Hello. Oh, that is adorable. Baby Bumblebee is two weeks and three days old. And as you can see, she's really enjoying having the puppy bed in the welcome box with her. <laughs> she's woken up. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Would you like a cuddle? So as you can see, she quite likes human affection. She likes being carried and picked up when she's feeling a bit lonely. Hello, my girl. You can definitely tell that she misses having siblings compared to our other litter, litters. Um, Tilly's just making her have a wee. She's going to wheel over me now, isn't she? Lovely. She responds when you talk to her now. Her teeth are coming through. Can you see? Her little teeth are coming through. Look at that. And mummy's feeling the teeth now, isn't she, monkey? But she quite likes being late on us. See how Tilly's gone and got in that bed? Baby gets in with her and gets all snuggled up and comfy. Don't you, Bumblebee? Oh dear, that was a sneeze. That was a sneeze. And yeah, she's definitely changing colour. She's going darker. You can see under a little white fur, she's going darker. Ah, yes, you are. This is what to expect from a two week old puppy. We started worming her, so she's getting wormed by Panicure and then she'll be wormed again at five weeks. Hello! And yeah, she's tolerating that fine. She started to wee on her own now and poo on her own sometimes. Mummy does most of them, but if she just got up from uh, asleep, she tends to do it herself. She's so beautiful. Are you so beautiful? Morning. Today we are going to make a playpen for baby because she is able to escape from the welcome box now and she's interacting with toys so I'm going to make her a whole play area that she can play with and explore so that's what we're going to do now and I'll set the camera up.
Now we're gonna hang some toys from the bars because at this age she just is curious about everything and wants to play. So we did make this for baby but Tilly's playing in it. Um, excuse you, that's for your daughter. Morning princess. Let's move you to the grass so you can have your morning wee. What do you think of this? Tabby, did you do the wee? I think she's just weed. Clever girl. She's listening to the hula. Sweetheart, are you listening to the Hoover? Yeah. So there we have our second pen that we have after they come out the open box. Now if you've watched the previous listers, it's pretty much the same size as if we have seven or eight puppies and the same with, with one. If you if you do have a singleton, um, you still have to have all the same stuff. Probably even more because she needs to be able to interact with all the different toys. So um, just keep in mind it's not really any different with one as opposed to seven really. She thinks the noise of this teddy is another puppy, so she's playing with it, which is really exciting. Oh, Debbie, yawn! You tired girl, you need to go back to bed. Bumblebee! She's so clever. Yep, she needs a poo. You clever girl. <laughs> Are you feeding your baby? You're very clever. She's a very noisy feeder. This donkey was Granny Flossie's. Yes, it was. And now it's yours. So, Aunt Madeline has met uh, Tabby a few times, but she's going to come in and see her now that she's up and about. Go on, Mads. Come on, you can go in. You're not going to get in the crate. Wow. Oh, that's kind, Mads. Good girl, Baba. Well done. What do you think, Tabby? Where's your auntie? Sniffing a bum to make sure she knows who she is. Good girl. Hello, Aunt Madeline. Are you real? She always does this with puppies. Are you real? Hey, Tabs. <laughs> Good girl, Maddie. Good girl. Back then, you walked me to school. You're still there for me. Wherever there might be. It's Granny Flossie's turn <laughs> to come see Tabby. Good girl. She's so happy. I know. That's a nice little wag. Good you girl. Come, baby. You're a granny. Oh, I've never seen you quite so happy. Good girl. Good girl. Tabitha's going to try her first meal. What do you think of that little one? Oh. She wants it. You like it? That's a good girl. I think that's a thumbs up from Tabs. She's making me out <laughs> She's a very clean eater. Mm. What did you think? Was it your mate? <laughs> oh, she's not so sure at the moment. It'll make your tummy fuller, won't it? 
Yeah. She settled so well after her um, first meal. And she can see she's flat out. Post breakfast snoozing. With a little heat pad to keep her warm. Just thought I'd do a little evening update with Tabby and just fill you in on what we're still doing. So Tabby is three weeks old now and hello Tabby, she knows her name. Um Hello my princess. Let me put the big light on so you can see her proper um <laughs> That was funny. We're still sleeping downstairs with her at the moment and just for if you're breeding or watching for breeding information um, we usually sleep with the litter for five weeks and then um, we start letting them sleep on their own from five weeks but with this one I think well three weeks now and then I think she'll probably move upstairs because we've only got one it's obviously harder to move eight upstairs when they're all pooing a wing we just got this new teether today which is from Nyla Bone and it is rubber and it's got a flannel on it and you can wet it and put it in the freezer um, for teething which is our number one tip when they're teething is to put a flannel in the freezer uh, and let them chew it so now the bone have basically come up with their own version and she's been chewing this and she really likes it so Tilly's still feeding a little bit but really not much at all um, we were hoping that she'd feed for a little bit longer but it's okay um, we just means we've got to up the food and at the moment she's eating a little bit of food but she's not eating a massive amount so She's having many small meals at the moment, we usually do four small meals and now she's having about six even smaller meals um, But yeah, so she's doing pretty well and she's having a little bit of milk off mama until Tilly's had enough and then She'll have food instead Oh good girl Tilly, that's very kind, she looks massive compared to Tilly but yeah, that's my little update. So she's three weeks old. Um, her teeth are almost all through. Um, she just started weaning onto food. S started to wean off milk. Um, Tilly now allows the other dogs in to play with Tabby while she's even in the room. Which is good if you've got other dogs. So the goal for next week, which will probably in the ne be in the next video, is to get her in the lounge and out in the big house with everybody else. Where's Tabby? <laughs> You're a good girl. They're playing. You bite mommy's ears. Well, this teether is a hit. She's chewing away on it. Not put it in the freezer yet, just so you get used to it as it is. Tabby! <laughs> you little make princess. So, we've established that Tabby doesn't like food bowls, she prefers her food on a licky mat. She's very interesting seeing she's only three weeks old. Good morning, I'm just making up Tabitha's breakfast, so we pre-soaked the Guru the night before um, and then this is what she'll have for today and then we add a little bit of hot water in a bowl to it so that it goes a bit warmer um, and a bit sloppier and then we clean it out and place it onto the floor. <laughs> come on then, come get me! Come get me! Come on! <laughs> You're so clever. Come get me. <laughs> You're such a good girl. <laughs> You're so bloody cute.